from Melbourne to Tasmania. We drove from Hobart to Lake St. Clair and they have a huge variety of different animals here. They have wombats, wallabies, platypus, echidnas, and even snakes. And we're gonna try to see one of those animals today. I'm gonna need some luck, so smash that like button. Let's go. So all the animals that live here like to come out in the morning and it's currently the afternoon. So we're gonna come back in the morning and See if they're out and try to see one of the animals. This is called Waters Meet because two rivers combined into one larger river and they lead into Lake St. Clair. All right, so it's just about the time where the sun's setting and that's the time when the wallabies come out. The park ranger said this was a good place to find wombats and wallabies. So we jumped in the car and hoped for the best. Very quiet because if we're loud, then they'll run away because we'll scare them all. All right, so we've just jumped back in the car. We heard some noises back there. It was definitely a large animal, but we didn't get it on film. I'm pretty bummed about that, but we'll probably see some more stuff. So, yeah, we're just gonna ride up here and go to a different spot. We were heading home for the night, but then we saw a shape in the darkness. Watch carefully, because here's what happened. I'm filming. Yes. Is something wobbling? All right. Yep. All right. Yep. Get the filming going. That is... That's a wombat. There's a wombat right there. Just give me the camera. Give me the camera. There, there. Oh, it's two possums. Two possums. One on top of the other. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Get, get your light, the other light. Get the other light. All right, so just back there, those were the possums. And possums, there's um a little a baby. You can just hear them back there. There's a little baby stacked on top of the mama, and they were just walking back into the bush. And luckily we got them that on film that time because we heard um, two wombats, or another animal, and but we didn't get it on film. So. so that's why when you drive through the bush, you have to be careful and drive slowly because you might hit an uh, animal. So. Alright, so what I was doing was I was just coming up here and then I heard something in the bushes and I saw a face of a wallaby. And I had the camera out, so I just started filming him. And I just walked back out here because he went back in there. Alright, so just behind me is a female Bennett's wallaby. Now, she's quite big for her species, and a wallaby is a much smaller version of a kangaroo. And why in Tasmania there's not many big kangaroos is because they were poached out in the 19th century.
Alright, so right over here we have an echidna. Now, these echidnas, they actually, they kind of are like a porcupine. They have spikes that are actually modified from hairs that have turned into little spikes. And I think this one is the short-beaked echidna, or short-nosed echidna. What he's doing right now is he's just digging in to the dirt with his nose and he's looking for ants and termites to eat. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video as much as I did making it because it was just so much fun. And I will be coming out with way more videos. Sorry if this one was a little short, but yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.